This is going to be the easiest one light headshot setup, I guarantee it. My name is Pi, and I'm one of the founders of Lynn and Jersa Photography and SLRLounge.com. We're teaming up with Adorama to bring you a new series of photography tutorials called Master Your Craft right here on Adorama TV. So let's dive in. What's up, friends? My name is Pi. Welcome to Adorama TV, not Men's Warehouse. That just sounded nice. Look, I want to show you guys a very simple one light headshot setup. I'm going to make this video quick, straight to the point, so you guys can save it, reference it, share it, whatever you like. Let's get straight into it, though. What are you going to need for this? The basics, one flash, any flash. You need an umbrella, any umbrella. A light stand, we're gonna use the most basic, something to mount the light, so a cold shoe adapter to mount to the stand. And then just your camera and a rather long lens. Any camera works, and I'd recommend for lens anything 85 and beyond. So 85, 7200 at 85. You can go wider, but you're gonna start getting distortion. So 85 and beyond is totally fine. You pick and choose the variables. Let's introduce our lovely model. You'll need someone to photograph. This is Kiara. Y'all might recognize her from past awesome videos. I'm gonna start with step one. I want you guys to dial in your composition and your ambient light. So figure out what you're shooting and why. What I'm gonna do is actually have Kiara sit. I'm gonna explain why in just a second. But I'm gonna shoot her into this darker background. What I like for my headshots is a simple background. It can be dark, it can be bright, it can be whatever you like, but something that allows the person to kind of shine, right? Now let's dial in the ambient light. Now for this scene, I wanna nix all the window light. I wanna shoot with just the flash. So what I'm gonna do for ambient light, I'm gonna go to like F5, 6. I like to close down a bit, not shoot wide open, because I don't want the eye sharp and the nose blurry, okay? So, Go crazy with this, you know, feel free to close the aperture a bit. It's okay, you're not gonna break your lens. I'm just, I'm just playing around, you know. Sometimes we just always wanna, you get it. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna go to 400 ISO, just so I have a barely a little bit of light kind of poking in. I might even go to 100 ISO, sorry, 200 ISO, 1 200th, F5, 6, and boom, you get this incredible exposure. Look, if you're looking at that and going, hey Pi, that's almost pitch black, yeah, you're right. We did what we should, we nixed all the ambient light, so now we can go ahead and modify our light source. So that's step two, we're gonna modify our light, and clearly if we're shooting with no light, we need to add our light source. So what I'm gonna do, grab our flash. This is a Profoto A1, but like I said earlier, use any flash you like. It's being mounted to a Magmod cold shoe. This is super handy. You can put umbrellas and just kind of adjust the angle very easy, and it's on top of a Manfrotto nano stand kind of my go-to portable setup. Very easy to do. And uh, depending on what you choose for your flash, also very affordable. I'm gonna grab an umbrella. An umbrella is an umbrella is an umbrella. Go ahead and get that mounted. Now, like all my videos, I like to give little tips and tricks along the way, and there are gonna be little bonus tips in here too, so stick around. I should have said that at the beginning, right? Because some people have already tuned out. I should have said at the beginning. Stick around for the tips and tricks. The whole thing is, you know what, it's fine. You were, you were, oh my gosh. <laughs> you were in another space right now and it's okay. <laughs> One tip is to widen this out because look, if you zoom the lens in, you're only using a small piece of the umbrella, right? I want a large light source. So widen the flash zoom to its maximum setting. So when it fires, you kind of fill out the entire umbrella. Now what I'm gonna do is, Boom this up a bit, okay? Right about here is fine. And I'm gonna angle it down. And now you're gonna start to see why it is that I'm using the stool. Because this isn't the C-stand, right? I know a lot of you don't have studio type stands available, or maybe you don't have it on location. So we're using a regular stand, but that means that we don't have an arm that can kind of boom it across. So our subject can't, you know, stand or do other things. So I'm gonna have her sit. That gives me more working room. All right, let's see if it's enough though. Not quite enough, so I'm gonna back this up and boom it up just a bit more. And right about here is totally fine. If you are outdoors, be sure to secure the stand. We're indoors, this is totally fine. It's a really small setup and it's not gonna go anywhere. Look at that face. Do you trust me? She trusts me, she's good. Okay, we've got the light set up. Before we move on and actually take the shot though, let's just make sure that we like the light. So dial in your power. I am at, let's see, 
200 ISO. And if you're wondering why at 200 ISO, well, I can shoot this at 200 or even at 400 ISO uh, and still have really no ambient light in the shot. And the benefit is that I can lower the flash power a bit. So I don't need to use a lot of juice, right? This is at seven, let's put it at like six and just see what the light looks like and take a little shot. Hey, guessed it right on. That looks very, very nice. Okay, so a couple things that I'm noticing. This looks really good. I wanna point out one thing. Notice how the, the actual light itself is directly in front of her going top down, kind of at an almost 45 degree angle from the face. So the face is here, the light's kind of right here, right? I can get more or less catch light by lowering this a little bit. Now I don't wanna go too low, I'm not gonna have any room to shoot, but if I wanted to get more catch light, I can lower it just a little bit. If it's too high, the eyes are gonna be dark. I'm gonna show you what that kind of looks like. So if I'm aiming kind of above and it's a little bit too close, it's too high, then what we're gonna do is kind of end up with shadows over the eyes. You can kind of see that. Okay, so the simple solution is to back this up just a little bit, lower this down a little bit, and go ahead and just adjust the stand a little bit. And now the lens is going right underneath the light, just shooting barely top down. And we get that, and that's beautiful. I love that. So the way that the light is positioned, this top down angle kind of 45 degrees. So look, her head is like right here, right? The flash is coming just a little bit down. It's very close. A couple tips in here. One, this is called Paramount or butterfly lighting. Paramount because it was popularized by the studio, Paramount Studios, who use this lighting setup for everything. And it's characterized by that little butterfly shape underneath the nose. Very simple, very flattering lighting setup. But a little tip in this is distance from the modifier to the subject. So look, one easy, just kind of general rule you can think of is to get the maximum sort of softness or the look from a particular modifier, place it about the distance of the size to your subject. That sounds weird, right? So look, this is a three foot umbrella from edge to edge. So you place it around two to three feet from the subject. So when you come to this angle right here, this is roughly maybe two and a half, three feet ish. When it starts getting much further back, you lose the characteristics of that light modifier. So just as a general rule, the distance, if you want the look, it should be about the size of the modifier itself to the subject. Okay, so we're already good. We already have a professional headshot setup with just one light, any light works, and an umbrella, something to sit on, you're good to go. A couple things that I wanted to point out, I have actually shifted the stand a little bit to the right side and had the umbrella kind of right over. So that way the stand isn't in the way of my shot. Another thing I can do is just say, here, I tilt the head back a tiny, tiny bit, and then go ahead and give me that little soft smile. I love that, perfect. And tilting the head back is gonna allow more light to fill into the eyes. You'll also notice my crop. I, I like this crop. It's kind of popularized by Peter Hurley. You crop at the hair, you crop like right at the shoulder line. You can really go how you like with this. Um, typical headshots are anywhere like kind of bust and up. You can show full hair or you just crop. I, I like the crop look. I think it looks a little bit nicer. Last but not least, when we're talking camp, the last step is to pose and photograph, right? So what we're gonna do is, Kiara's gonna do that slight chin up a little bit. Kiara, on this one, I want approachable. Give me a nice little, she loves that word. <laughs> I love that laugh. That's cute, perfect. Squint the eyes just a tiny bit, like Peter says, do a little squinch. There you go. Oh, I love those. Those are already fantastic. Okay, couple quick tweaks and tips that you can do from here. So let's say I don't have another light. If you wanted another light, you could add another fill light coming bottom up, and there's advantages to that, but I wanna keep this a one light setup, right? For whatever reason, you don't have another light. Here's a simple approach. You're just gonna put in a reflector. Now I'm gonna put this on an apple box so I don't have to hold it, but look, the easiest option is to have her hold it with the bottom hand and you hold it with this hand, okay? And now you're gonna shoot the shot. So if you don't have something to place it on, this is always an option. What this fill is gonna do is bounce light up. So when you compare this to the last shot, you're gonna notice the shadows are a little bit more open. Thing is though, in that pose, I'm gonna have you roll the shoulder towards the window. So turn the shoulder towards the window and just hold this with one hand. In fact, bring the right arm across just like that. Just like that, relax the arm down so it's, this is on your lap. Okay. okay. There, right there. And just relax the hands in your lap. 
There you go. Perfect. I love that. Chin up a little bit. Gorgeous. Give me that smile. Perfect. And those look fantastic. So it's a nice and easy fill. And if you don't want to hold it, you just place it on something like another Apple box, like a stool, a chair, whatever you got. But that's a very easy way of modifying this setup. So that's as easy as it gets. A one light professional headshot setup. And hopefully this was like less than 10 minutes. Totally worth your time. If it was, look, it's weird asking, but I'm gonna do it anyway. If you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to Adorama TV. We have tons of great content coming up each and every day by amazing creators. And we'll also link up Kiara again so you guys can give her a follow. In the meantime, y'all can follow me at Pygersa and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna take a few more pictures though.